Hey guys, Chris here for Frosty Productions, and it's been a while since I did a video, but I figured I'd do a video on this website that I've actually known about for a while, but it's gotten better. So, the name of the website is um, splashup.com, and what it is is it's a um, photo editing and you know image creation tool that's online, um, and it's a lot like Photoshop. So, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to dive right in and... Uh, show you what it's like. Um, you can just start by clicking jump right in right here and it's going to bring this up. Um, it should take a second to load here and here you go, it loaded up. Now you'll notice um, the tools palette over here looks a lot like what you'd see in Photoshop or Pixelmator. Um, your color palette thing right here is just like uh, Photoshop. So what you can do is you can go up to file, new image, you can open an image from your desktop, you can capture an image from your webcam, you have your basic cut, copy, paste stuff, uh, you know, other stuff here, you know, image size crop. Um, you have some some effects which I can uh, demonstrate. Uh, selections, um, some basic filters here, clouds, you know, generators and stuff. And you can actually go in full screen mode, but I think I'm just going to stay in uh, normal, you know, the normal size here for the tutorial. And uh, let's go to a file, new image here, and I'll just do this. And I get this, uh, and you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit like GIMP, too. And, uh, like this a little bit bigger. And you'll see you have some basic shape tools over here on the left-hand side. You can draw out a square and, uh, stuff like that, you know. Draw a circle out on top of it. And then change the colors. You have hexagons. I mean, uh, this is a triangle, my bad. And I believe this is your gradient tool, which is actually, um, believe it or not, it feels a lot smoother than the gradient tool in um, Photoshop, which is just weird considering it's an online application. You can go in here and change the colors of your gradient, much like you do in Photoshop. Obviously, um, you don't have nearly as many options. You can make it radial. Um, it's not a very, uh, kind of a basic gradient. It's not perfect, as you can see. It's kind of um, your paintbrush tool. Uh, the paintbrush tool is a little bit rough. If you go fast, it jumps around. Um, eraser here, and uh, as you can see, as you might have noticed over here, you have your layers palette. This is layers based. You can go ahead and add a new layer. Um, grab the paint bucket tool, and we'll grab make this white. And paint that white. Um, you have your opacity settings over here. So, you know, I'm not going to go through and. Uh, show you every single tool in this. I mean, you can pretty much see what it's like, and uh, you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Um, the name of the website is uh, splashup.com. And there's uh, one more thing I'd like to show you. Um, let me just go ahead and close this out here. There actually is a downloadable version of Splash Up called Splash Up Lite, but it is nothing like the online version of Splash Up. The online version of Splash Up is just you know, world better than this, but I can, uh, I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. I'm just going to go up to here, and open it up, and here you see I have Splash Up Light. Um, pretty much the only stuff you can really do with that, I mean, you can add some, uh, you have to load a picture in here, but you have some basic tools. You can add shapes, text, resize, crop. It's really just kind of like a uh, basic stuff like you could do in iPhoto. It's, to tell you the truth, it's not even worth downloading. It's really like nothing good. It runs on the, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say it's nothing good. Okay, it's decent, but it runs on the um, Adobe Air frameworks. And uh, yeah, that's about it for Splash Up Light and for this video. So I hope you um, enjoyed this, uh, you know, informational video or whatever you want to call it. Uh, thanks for watching.